in the last video, I had tied a long multi-strand knot. Then I shown how to turn back for herringbone bites on both ends. This time I'd like to do the pineapple, a type one pineapple, but I thought the dark string was hard to see. So I'm going to this tan string and I thought as long as I'm changing colors of string, I'm going to show how to do a four strand instead of a three strand like in the first one. It's the same thing, same way. We hold it with our right and we've got them going up to the left. We start with our top one and we do an over, under, over and put it in our hand. Take the next string, over, under, and put it in our hand. Now we take the top string and go over and put it in our hand. Now we hold right there where we're at. We switch hands. We take this top string on the left, bring it around the right, and go over, under, over. Now this next move is the first move of our braiding sequence. We've got to repeat from left to right. So we're taking the top strand from the left and bringing it around to the right with an under, over, under, over. Kind of straighten things up a little because they were kind of loose. Now we put a strand above our hand. We hold these. We're going to go with around. Hit the top strand on the right. Come under, over, under, over, and over the stick. Now we have a strand on our, above our hand. We go under this strand, under, over, under, over. And we just keep doing that and keep switching sides. Remember to put a strand above your hand, come under the top strand, under, over, under, over, and over the stick. Strand above your hand, lift this one up and go under it, under, over, under, over. We just keep repeating. Over under. Over that last one. And now we go to the other side. Under, over, under, over. Under, over, under, over. Under. Over, under, over. We check to see if we're kind of straight. Under, oop, I didn't get a hold of my string. Under, over, under, over. Under, over, under, over. Under, over, under, over. Under, over, under, over. Looking at these boxes right here, see that they're in a straight line. We 
the screen above my hand. Under, over, under. Is that up? Under, over, under, over. Now on this one, on a six byte, our last one, we went from the right around the back, so this would be an under. On this one, on a four strand, it's the other way. You've got to come from the left around the right, undo your under, over, under, over. So our last string is coming out under. Now, if you're just turning it back up here somewhere, that doesn't really matter, but it's a good idea to know this string has to be an under when you turn back, so both ends will be the same. And we will just come back to about right there and turn back into our knot. So I'm just gonna duck that under Oh, I got to duck it over. Excuse me. My last video with the four strands, I did it as a sobre. This one we're doing it as a regular. And that's why that is an under, is it's a regular. So we turn and go over and then under. Now, this strand that is coming out under two goes over and under the next one. And that makes these made up. The strand going under two, we pull it out, go over, under. And take the twist out. There we go. And that mates up with one below it. Our last string, it's coming under two. So we turn and go back in, over, under, right there. And that's got all of our strands started. So now I'm going to turn this so it's like tying your knot from right to left. And I'm going to make them all in a straight line. So I'm going to do it right here. Over, under. And the reason I like to do that is if you have your fit in your right hand, it's pointing that direction. So those are on top of each other. So I go to the next one. Over, under. Over, under. And now they're lined up. Looking straight. This is our bottom one. Over, under. Over, under. Over, under. Looking pretty good. So I take my bottom string and it goes over, under. And I'll take it all the way to the top so it's lined up with these. Over, under. And when I check the straightness of my knot, 
I could see that the bottom needed to kind of roll that way. So I was kind of pushing that against my braid. As I was going. Now up here, it's kind of this way, so I kind of pulled that one back. And then I'll check my straightness. See, that looks a lot better. Okay, so I take my bottom string, and now that I'm fairly straight, I don't want to disturb it much, so I just go straight through. And that's why it is good to use a fid that is about the same size as the width of your lace. Because if you have this big old wide fid and you're using a little narrow lace, when you go through like that, you move your knot around and can distort it so that it's crooked. And that's always ugly. But we're looking pretty good. Take my bottom string. This one's got a little too sharp of a point. I thought I passed my string here, or my ends for a minute there. Okay, so I'm back to being in a straight line. Looking pretty good. This top could go that way a little bit, but not bad. Okay, take the bottom string. Over under. Over under. Over under. And over under. And that brings this string to the top of our knot. And lined up with our straight ones. So now I'm just going to take each one of them to the top of the knot where they belong. Over under. Over under. Over under, and I'm at the top of the knot. So now I go back and get the next one that's at the bottom. Over under. Over under, that gets me to the top. We'll go back and get the next one. Over under. When we check the straightness of our knot, we look pretty good. And the same as when we did it with three strands. When we get to the ends, our strands are over one out of the knot all the way around. And if we turn this over, these strands are doing the same thing. They're one strand. The last strand is an over one. Over one. All the way around. So, I'm going to stop the video here. Then we'll come back with a part two and turn them back as a type one pineapple knot. Thank you for watching.